What's up YouTube? Today's video is for my FPV people out here. Uh, I've got my ready-made RC 900 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz video receiver and because I fly UHF like I'm sure most of you guys do uh, I get a little tiny bit of in interference on 480 as it crosses over into some of the higher frequencies. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is upgrade the saw filter. Now they do sell an upgraded model, uh, but the saw filter model is 80 bucks as opposed to 60 bucks or 50 bucks. So it's a uh, it's a really good modification to know how to do it yourself, save yourself 30 bucks, and also to uh, kind of get a good idea for how to do these filter mods in the future. Because as you progress in FPV, stuff's going to become more and more important. So the first thing to do is remove the outer case. Now we've removed all the screws top case just pops off. There's two boards here. We have the tuner board and we have the actual uh, receiver circuit itself. We're going to unplug the receiver circuit from the tuner board and then there's going to be a nut here on the top. See that? I'm going to undo this nut. That's going to drop off. The lock washer is going to come off. This is just going to pull out the inside. Make sure it doesn't drag on anything. There we go. Okay, so there will be three other washers here on the inside. All right, now we're done with the tuner circuit and everything around it so we can move that stuff. Now here's the part that we really came to see. Uh, that's This is the radio receiver itself. So let's pop open the shielding cases on the receiver. Shielding case numero uno. And number two over here. Find a good spot where it's easy to pop off there. This will be easy. Okay, there we go. All right, now this little thing right here, this is the saw filter. Now it's connected on these three points here in the back. One, two, three, and I think that might be, I don't know why there's a fourth, but they only should have three pins. So this is going to be what we get out. And I've seen a lot of different ways people get these out. But I think the simplest would be just to apply a bunch of heat to the back. Might help to add a little bit of solder. The filter will just squeeze right out the bottom there. Just like that. All right. Now we'll see on the other side that it's starting to be able to pull up. So what I think we should do is I think we should take like a flathead screwdriver and try to help it out. And it's important while we're doing this to take note of the pin configuration. There's a little nubby thing uh, and that points toward the connectors. So we should remember that so when we put the, the new saw filter in, that we do it in the same direction. Let's not destroy the old saw filter, as I've seen some people do in, in the process of getting it out, in case anything goes wrong, because if anything goes wrong, we're, we're going to need to uh, put it back in so that we can have all our variables checked. All right. So I'm just going to bend this shield out of the way just slightly so we have a little more room to work with making sure not to remove any of the surface mount components. Now you see I'm applying gentle pressure to the filter. All right, there it goes. Considering it jumped out of my hand. Okay. Yep, one more pin. One more pin we still got to get. It's this last pin right here. There it goes. Drops right out. Okay. Now remember, we need to keep this just in case anything, uh, anything goes too wrong with it. Drop the other filter in. Same orientation, same direction.
All right. Counter the problem, we got to clean out these holes first. Just get the any residual bits of solder out of those holes. Okay, we got the old filter out. It's time to put the new one in. So we're going to line that pin up. Okay, got it through, got it through. And now we just need to push, apply gentle pressure to it, warm up those solder joints again. Got it. Finally. All right. See these three pins here whose traces I are pretty darn close to burning. So I had to use a lot of heat to get it out. Those of you who are new to soldering, that's something to be very, very careful of is uh, heating the circuit traces so much that they burn off or get damaged in some way. Okay, I somehow miraculously got that put back together. Uh, got that trace fixed. So let's put this thing back together and uh, see if it works. Alright guys, the mod's all done and I just got back from the... Uh, ground station where I have my antenna set up and my video goggles set up. I check the signal and it looks awesome even with my UHF right next to it at high power. So this is a really awesome mod. I can't see. Wait to see how much it boosts my range and uh, I'll send you some field reports pretty soon. If you like this video guys don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe so I can keep making more for you. Until then, see you next time.